Today is September September 7th. Is today the 7th? Today September 8th. Good job. This is uh, from our schoolyard to your backyard. Showing our newest and youngest member, three-year-old Matthew Aposky Rowe. Aposky Rowe. He's digging a new hole so we can get our new grow bed going. He's doing a phenomenal job. He's dug, he's dug down deeper than he is tall. This is show that anybody at any age can do this. Matthew, how are you doing? Good. You doing good? Yeah. All right. This is Mr. Ross with an update from our schoolyard to your backyard. It's 422 on Saturday, August, September 8th. Uh, we've been here for a little over eight hours now. We've run into some situations down here. You'll notice in the hole... You might not be able to see it too well on video, but if you see any of this white dust in, in the sand and the soil, we're running into a plate of lime rock, a little shelf there that we've got to chisel through to be able to put the pipes in to get the pipes down long enough so we can cement them in to level them off. As you can see here, our bubbles are good. Government work should be so high quality as us here. So far, this is the second bed we're going to putting in today. As you can see over here, we've got the first bed already cemented in, drying. Put the deck on there to make sure it was going to fit all right. So we're going to finish this up today. Uh, tomorrow, we'll get all the rest of the lumber on it. And then Thursday for the science club, we will be filling with water so the kids can learn about gravity and water. Again, this is from our schoolyard to your backyard, and this is Mr. Poteet getting ready to do some more mixing. Take care. Okay, we just dug the third hole, and that white right there is compacted lime rock. It's basically feels like compressed wet cement. So. Mr. Poteet was kind enough to pick this side, so he gets to chisel through it. And uh, I'd rather go get some dynamite, stick it in there and blow it up, but they won't let me. So this is the uh, problem that you might run into when you're digging in Florida. You show this hole where it's not there? And I'll show you, I'll show you the hole that I just got done digging, where there is no... You're talking four four feet away there's not a bit of lime rock in that hole and this is where he's at chiseling it out to here free and clear September 9th about 4 30 in the afternoon Sunday we came back it had been raining all night well not all night since four o'clock in the morning at 10 o'clock it was still downpouring so we came in this morning, everything was soaking wet, we had to wait for it to dry, it's like I said about 4.30 now. We've got both sides and bottom attached on these grow beds. We've got the holes cut out. This is a going to be for a 3 inch return and an inch and a half in. So we're going to see that if we have a larger return that we pick up more having the water flow in. That'll be the uh, test about it. And you get a chance to run the liners because we realized that we didn't order the 2x4s to run down the side here to lock the liner into like this one here. You know, sometimes you forget things and well, that's where we're at today. So again, we should have this thing up and running by Thursday. We're going to get the rest of the piping we need and the liner installed so Thursday all we'll have to do is come underneath of the working bed and reroute this out to run down here and turn as an in to these two beds and then tie the two beds into this return pipe and again, that'll be on Thursday when we get that done. But uh, I'll update us more. This is Mr. Ross from 
our schoolyard to your backyard. Signing off. Going to go enjoy the rest of the day. Take care. It's Mr. Ross with another addition from our schoolyard to your backyard. If you remember in one of the first videos we showed that we had built this heavy duty grow bed. It was 4 by 8 And we decided to add, as you can see up there, another one and another one. So it kind of looks like a little fancy dancy tea. And we still have the same concept with the water coming in. And we still have it drain out of the first bed. Right there through that pipe. We have it coming underneath both beds. We have it coming up through this pipe on both beds. Fills the bed up. And then we put a 3 inch drain on there to see if we could increase the water pressure. You can see in there it's just barely breaking the edge. Just a little bit of bead. You look down into there you see how high the water is here. Just that little trickle from both from both beds is creating this much water displacement coming back into the tank. Again it's just gravity that feeds it all back. Uh, we decided that we took a water test and found out that the ammonia when we put all the fish in it started getting high so we've taken the top tank and we're going to turn it into a biomass where the water is going to come up. We've got it oxygenated under the rocks. The rocks are going to help cleanse the water of the ammonia and send it back to the plants. So